Manager is Cloudy from Visual Model WordPress Teams, and in today's video, we're gonna learn how to create an WooCommerce products slider into our WordPress website for free. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us. After this, go to WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus. I'm gonna start this tutorial assuming that you already have WooCommerce plugin installed, you already have products set up on your shop and you just want to share your products into a better way. In the case that you want to learn how to use WooCommerce, go to YouTube and search for WooCommerce Visual Moto and found our playlist full of tutorials explaining every single part of this option to create an e-commerce based on WordPress. After having all the products set up, all the pages set up, Go to WordPress left sidebar of menus, hover mouse over plugins and click into the submenu add new plugin. Into the upper right corner of your screen you're gonna be able to find uh, an empty field called search plugins. Click on it and type slider for WooCommerce by pick plugins, just like this. Click on install now, here's the guide you are looking for. Click on activate button. This is going to redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on our site. You scroll it down just a little bit and you're going to be able to find the product slider. If you review the WordPress left sidebar of menus, next to comments or right over WooCommerce, you're going to be able to find WCPS. Hover mouse over it and click on all WCPS layouts submenu. Right here, we're gonna need to create our layout. So add WCPS layout, type a title to your layout. Now you're gonna need to choose what you want to see on your slider, okay? So what would you like to see? First, I would like to see the whopper start. Then I would like to see maybe the thumbnail, the post title, a little bit of content, maybe yes, maybe not, sale count, featured on sale, price, maybe useful, then the riper end. You can choose the layout that you want, if you publish this layout, you're going to be able to see the preview. Here's the result we got. Maybe we need the add to cart button. Let's check. Let's try to find here is the add to cart. Now we can drag and drop it just like this. Let me update so we can see the preview once again. And here is the result we got. Image, title, price and add to cart. You can customize this in the way that you want, okay? You can even enter custom CSS scripts right here to customize the layout. After, go to add WCPS submenu. Enter a title once again. You can make a slide for products or categories, up to you and your needs. Then you can import a layout or choose another layout. Okay, I have two. I'm gonna select the test one. Then all we have to do is publish. The plugin gonna generate for you a short code that you're gonna get grab you right here. Copy this short code, go to our page, add new. Copy the short code right here, enter a title to this page. Or of course, you can enter this short code into any previously made page of your site. You can enter this on your home page, for example, to grab some attention to your shop and sell more. Let's review the products page. Here is our layout working, but I would like to change some parts, for example, I would like to have only, I would like to have four columns, for example. 
go to slider options, submenus, on desktop slider column count, I would like to have four columns on desktop. starts looking better, but we can customize every single part on slider columns. In mobile, in desktop, we can make it auto play, eatings to get, auto play speed, auto play timeout, slider loop, slider center, slider navigation, speed, slider navigation position, up to you, okay? Navigation text, Slider navigation style, navigation background color, slider dots, up to you, dots color, lazy load, slider touch drag drop, and mouse drop. And right here, we have the carry, in the case that I would like to play with, the styles, with more customization options for colors, for sizes, for borders, scripts, and options to get support. Simple and easy. In this way, you can fully customize your slider show to better present your products. And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All the best.